Today I'm going to show you how I terminate uh, patch cables like these ones. So um, the cables have already run through the walls and I just want to make sure that every time I come here I plug, I plug a laptop or an access point or maybe there will be a network expansion. It will be easier to do it using a modular jack or what we call I.O. port. So we're just going to terminate these ones into these cables and I'm going to show it to you. So as you can see, there are two cables here. Uh, two, both of these cables are going down the basement and I also have this other one, a reserve, uh, going to the third floor. So both of these cables coming from the third floor. I always make sure that I have a backup line in case the other one is, uh, you know, it's not working. So I just uh, cover this one, put it here, and I don't know when, how many years I'm going to use it or for emergency or I want to expand the network, then I'm going to use that one going to the third floor. Now, assuming that this is where my network cabinet is going to be soon, uh, so every cable that's going to the third floor and the basement is coming here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reserve the other one, like what I always do, make sure that there's a backup line. Okay, so I'll just save that one there. I'm going to terminate one and this one is going to be terminated. So basically, you need a, uh, something that you can cut this one so that we can shorten it. So I'll just shorten this one out like that. Cut. So I want to connect both of this one using I.O. port and then this one is going to be a surface mount port. This one will be a surface mount port. So, so that you can imagine how it looks like. This will be like, like that. And I.O. port, both of this one will connect and I'm going to place them inside like that. This one will be like this see as simple as that so you need to have modular jack i'm going to remove the cover here these labels indicate something okay if you have been crimping i don't know if you've been crimping cables like this you know that there's a and b like this straight through a straight through b so you can see that there are markings that says a and there is b okay so if you're going to use a there's a, B that you can see in the center and how you follow these ones, you're going to use the colors on top. So if you're going to use A, then you follow white, blue, blue, and then white, orange, orange. And then here at this part, you do white, green, green, then white, brown, brown. Simple as that. Okay, so um, you can have that color coding. I'm just going to strip out the cables that are here so i'll just strip off the there you go i want to make sure that yep i think it's clean now the next thing i'm going to do is i want to cut these ones and then let's see i remove all these ones like that we have that one like that. Okay. Position it like that. Then we have white orange. Then we have the white brown brown. So I want to fix that one first so that it's going to be easily punched. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. All 
All right, so this is the face plate. We call this one face plate. We just go ahead and if you try to see this one, do it like that, and then we can plug this one. That would be a later project if I'm going to get ready and connect my access point on the wall. So this one, I'm going to keep it like that for a future project. Then I'm going to get that that uh, screw all right okay how about this one so we can cover it like that so the same scenario i'm just going to do it probably faster so that you can see Is that neat and clean? Actually, I have the net gear that I have shown you in my previous video, but I'm not going to use this one in this video because people are still working on the house, uh, finishing touches. So we are using a TP Link that um, they can use. So it's very dusty, very dirty, so that they can still connect to the Wi Fi. But when time comes, I'm going to replace it with the net gear. Okay, so, anyways. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this one like that, see? And I'm just going to go ahead and plug it like that. So there you go. I don't know if you can see that, but the LAN is uh, blinking. By the way, I forgot to place the cover of this. Ha. There you go. So my wall is neat and clean. Plug your baby. And of course, this will be here. And uh, if I want to remove this one and connect the switch, it could be easier, right? Ah, so there you go, guys. I hope you have learned something. The concept of these uh, patch cables here, I mean, patch ports or patch ports or what we call IO ports. So it really makes your room or your house clean with any other, uh, with other wires and you have the flexibility to plug any device if you want all right so there you go and hope to see you in my next video guys i hope you have learned something from this video if you have any comments just comment here and i'm going to answer them see you on my next video